Check components after opening the package box. Head assembly box. First horizontal arm 1 and wall second arm 1, 2 box. Dual ceiling vertical arm and ceiling cover and ceiling cover bracket box. Guide bracket and fixing bracket and stud bolt box. Prepare the guide bracket and check its status. Select a spot on which the product is installed on the ceiling and attach a shape paper sheet of the guide bracket. Fix the guide bracket and install six stud bolts as seen on the screen. After installing the fixed bracket for preventing movement in the middle of the stud bolt, fix it with the up-down nut. Connect S200 SMPS. Check the input-output harness of each SMPS case assembly. Connect the input harness to 220 volt parallel power source. Connect the output harness to the central axis power supply. Connect L200 to 28 volt and connect M200 to 20 volt DC respectively. After fitting the dual ceiling vertical arm installation hole to the bottom of the stud bolt, then fix it with the up down nut. Open the dual bracket cover by removing the bolt as shown on the screen. Prepare a wall second arm and disassemble the OD42 thrust washer, the M25 lock nut, and the M25 lock washer. Attach the wall second arm to the dual bracket. Attach the disassembled OD42 thrust washer, M25 lock nut, and M25 lock washer to the top of the attached wall second arm again. Attach the harness connector to the dual ceiling vertical arm harness and the wall second arm one. Reattach the dual bracket cover. Attach the damper bolt to the hole on the dual bracket side. Attach the arm housing cap to both sides. Attach wall second arm one and first horizontal arm 1 as seen on the screen. Hook up the snap ring after raising first horizontal arm 1 all the way up. Open the first horizontal arm's tension housing cover. If the cover is open, you may see the vertical arm's wiring. Connect between the vertical arm and the first horizontal arm joint wiring connect. Check the vertical arm and the first horizontal arm joints FE wire. Completely release the screw and the washer mounted to the first horizontal arm joint with the plus driver. Put the release screw to two FE wire ring terminals and then tighten it again. Fix the FE wire to the place where the first horizontal arm joint screw used to be with the plus driver. After fixing the FE wire, Put on the first horizontal arm joint cover. There are screw docking holes on each side of the first horizontal arm joint top. Tighten the M3 screw to the screw docking hole on both sides. Install the vertical arm joint cap. Hold the installed first horizontal arm with your hand and lower it down. Check whether the joint arm groove and the first horizontal arm's head locking key groove fit perfectly. Tighten the wiring connector first to assembly the first horizontal arm held with your hand and the head assembly. Hold and make the head lighting source face down and insert the head assembly into the first horizontal arm. Check whether the head assembly is completely installed in the first horizontal arm. Fix the first horizontal arm in the head assembly by inserting the head locking key to the adjusted groove. Hold the joint arm with your hand and rotate the prominent part to make it face down as seen on the screen. After aligning the hole as seen on the screen, tighten the joint arm bolt gradually with the M5 wrench and adjust the right and left tension of the head assembly. Adjust the right and left rotational tension smoothly while tightening the joint arm bolt gradually. If it slips without being fixed while checking the head assembly's operation, tighten the joint arm bolt by using the M3 wrench. Adjust the head knob and install it in the locking keyhole as seen on the screen. Once one set of wall second arm 1 and first horizontal arm 1 is completed, assemble the remaining set in the same method. 
After attaching the sealing cover to the middle of the dual arm and the texture, assemble the enclosed bolt with the plush driver. Assemble the sealing bracket to the dual sealing vertical arm. Tighten four fixing bolts to the bracket after lifting up the texture. Plug the product power cord in the outlet supplied with AC100 to 250 volt. Press standby switch from the head assembly's control switch. If the LED light is on, check the product operation. Check any problem with the inspection pattern while turning the focus control knob. Press the up-down control button from the control switch and check whether there is any problem with three-step color temperature settings. Press the up-down control button from the control switch and check whether there is any problem with five-step illumination settings. Installation is completed. Experience yourself the best operation lamp that will make the optimal operation environment for you. Luvis.